ni kongole kwa mkwa mazingira kwa kazi nzuri anayotufanyia tuseme zane tungane tuangamize uchafu wa mazingira tuseme zane tungane tuangamize uchafu wa mazingira tukilinda mazingira yetu Hatutapata magonjwa mbaya mbaya ile upele na kuendesha zitapungua maisha ni mwetu tuseme zane tungane ni tuangamize uchafu wa mazingira tuseme zane tungane ni tuangamize uchafu wa mazingira MNET is an acronym standing for Health and Environmental Media Network. The network is concerned with encouraging journalists to report on health and environmental issues, especially those that are concerned with conservation of the Lake Victoria region together with the neighboring counties. We are actively working in Nyanza region, also in Western region, and parts of the Rift Valley region. Currently, Le uh, Hemnet, in partnership with Livem2, has been able to facilitate journalists to go and cover events which are related to activities of Livem. Besides that, there are many other environmental concerns which are being addressed by Livem. <laughs> Lake Victoria Environmental Management Project Phase 2, or LAVEMP2, is a regional initiative by five ESC partner states of Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, and Tanzania. The aim of LAVEMP2 is to improve the management of transboundary natural resources and reducing environmental stress for the improvement of livelihoods in the Lake Victoria Basin. This objective is to be achieved through four broad components, including strengthening institutional capacity for managing shared water and fisheries resources, point source pollution control and prevention, watershed management, project coordination and management. In Kenya, the project is funded by the World Bank through International Development Association, or IDA, and the government of Kenya. Thank you. My name is Nicola Harford. I'm a communications consultant. I'm working with the World Bank to look at the communications around Levemp. And so I was very pleased to have this opportunity today to join you um, to visit some very, very interesting projects of Levemp Kenya. And there's some really good stories there. Stories not just about the physical things that the communities have done to protect soil and water, to improve their livelihoods with tree planting, with goat rearing, with making uh, energy efficient <coughs> stoves. But what really makes it interesting to your audience, whether you're print or radio or TV, is to hear the authentic voices of the ordinary person. So my parting words would be, please go out and find those stories. Uh, from the people who are benefiting from the Levent project. <laughs> Lavemp2 Kenya in partnership with Health and Environmental Media Network, or HEMNET, 
undertook to hold a media excursion in the lower Nyando Basin, which is covered by the project. See, in Bita, this project is really improving, is really empowering women, because I saw they, were, they, they have something to do right now. They have Jiko, they are, they are doing something in uh, forestation. They are encouraging the locals to plant more trees. And apart from planting more trees, they, are, they have invented, they have come, they have come up with the, a project, a Jiko, that modern Jiko, at least two. They are teaching locals, apart from cutting trees, you should cut, plant. The main objective of the excursion was to improve the understanding of Lavem2 Kenya activities among journalists for the purpose of promoting accurate and objective reporting about the project and to sensitize the journalists on the Lavem2 Kenya activities currently being undertaken in the Lower Nyando River Basin. The activity went on for five days, taking journalists through four counties of Busia, Siaya, Homa Bay and Migori. Jinsi tulivyoona ambavyo mradi unatekeleza kazi. Kwa upande wangu mimi nimefurahishwa tunaona kazi nzuri inaendelea. Na tunaona kama vile malengo ya mradi yatafikiwa kwa sababu watu wote wamejitoa naona jamii iko tayari kufanya kazi. Wanafurahia matokeo wanayoona. Tayari kuna results zinazoonekana tangible. Somebody can see that we have done a lot of work of which is good for the lake for the people around this area that we have visited, of which I'm so proud and I congratulate my counterpart Kenya that we are doing the same work. Key participants were journalists drawn from the various media houses. They included reporters from media houses such as the Nation Media Group, that is Daily Nation and NTV, The Standard, KTN TV, The People Daily, The Star, Kenya Broadcasting Corporation or KBC TV, Western Region Radio Nam Lolwe, Radio Lake Victoria, Ramogi FM, Sahara FM, and Sauti FM. I also want to thank you very much because since we started on Monday, we have had a number of uh, uh, announcements or uh, broadcasting of our activities. We have been hearing through radio. Some of our friends have also been calling us to inform us that they have heard something about us being said in the, in the air. So I want to appreciate very much. I thank you all for making that effort. And I want to ask you to please help us pass the message out there. The message is about what Lake Victoria Environmental Management Project is doing. The role of Lavemp2 Kenya on Bunyala Catchment Area Water Resources Users Association as explained by the group leadership. The group had managed to establish a tree nursery hosting approximately 800,000 tree seedlings. Gladia Lavempo, imefanya paka wanainchi, wamefraia, mpanda miti, tumejulikana. Market wise, mefanya tapaka account wa mitujua. Yabu yu mdadi ya nivempo. Mefanya tazisi wenye pia tuko na miti tumepanda kwa maboma yetu. Hali naona yu ni faida kwa sababu sisi tulikuwa tuna depend sana kwa kuni, mbao na miti kutoka Uganda. Lakini wasa kulingana nivempo vile imekuja inabidi. Sasa sisi wenye tutaji trustedesha. Habu sasa ikimea kama hii, ikimea ikue shamba na ikue miti. Iku hajagani ya kuenda Uganda. The immediate benefit of the tree nursery project to the community is that they earn a living from selling of the tree seedlings, resulting to improved living standards and conservation of the environment. Wesandia Self-Help Group, through funding from Lavemp2 Kenya, has set up a water project which has seen the health standards of the communities living around the project improve due to use of clean water for domestic use. Safe water, clean hands, healthy bodies. This has seen reduction in the cases of waterborne diseases in the area. The other notable activity by the group is the poultry farming project and so far the group has acquired birds to kickstart their poultry keeping activities. Lavem2 has played a major role in attitude change towards the environment and conservation.
it is seen as a driving force behind the changes and benefits experienced by the communities within the Lake Victoria Basin. Lunap Group in Siaya, through the support from Lavemp 2, has set up a tree nursery with 8,000 seedlings. The group plans to distribute the seedlings to schools, churches and community members for planting. Women in modern agriculture, or WIMA, received a sum of 1,044,600 Kenya shillings funds from Lavemp 2 for the purpose of using simple technology to win the group out of depending on rain-fed agriculture and establishment of a greenhouse to ensure constant supply of tomatoes to the local market. Uh, the greenhouse tomato production uh, has been uh, funded by Levem2 Kenya. Uh, actually, the community around uh, uh, is taking this project very, very positively. Uh, it is turning lives around and uh, there are people who have also uh, copied the same and uh, are implementing. Despite this success, the group is experiencing a number of challenges, some of which include the perennial floods during rainy periods. The other challenge is that the underground water is very salty and less useful for agricultural activities. The land on which the group is operating on is a leased land for a period of five years at a cost of 10,000 Kenya shillings annually. We wanted something very practical, a practical approach, something doable within our setting. And that is how we even coined the name Women in Modern Agriculture, so that we would stop depending on rain-fed agriculture. We wanted to use simple technologies to, bring, uh, to put food on the table and at the same time get income. So the first funding we got from Leve, that time we were facing a different challenge. Because this place was very dry that time, there was no water. So the members decided to sink a shallow well, which is just behind there, to help us with our irrigation system. But the challenge we experienced with that water is the salinity. The, the underground water around here is very salty. So it, it gave us sort of a challenge. We didn't know initially how to go about it, but we tried consulting with the Ministry of Agriculture and we've been moving well. So the crops have been moving on stable. Part of the funding, yes, uh, help us, helped us do this work. But seemingly we underestimated what we really needed to get this thing where it is. So like group members have really worked hard to get extra resources to do a few things. For instance, in our proposal, we did not include like, you know, water source and all that, the water tank, some bit of irrigation system. So we, we really had to look around so much to ensure that this thing, you know, comes up. But all in all, it makes us proud as members of the group because where you have put you, your resources, that is something you value and you can take care of it. Rarieda Agroforestry Development Initiative Program, or RAFDIP, a registered community forest association, or CFA, with the Kenya Forest Services Department, with support from LAVEM2, has been able to establish a tree nursery and beekeeping projects within their area of operation. At Camino Ningo BMU, the journalists observed that prior to LAVEM2 intervention, the beach was experiencing a number of challenges marketing of their fish catchers, insecurity in the lake, and the post-harvest losses. The support from Lavem 2 was put together with members' contribution to build a patrol boat. This boat has ensured that fishing volumes have gone up by almost 50% due to reduction in post-harvest losses. It has also reduced the levels of illegal fishing in the lake. The engine is also used to source the fishing baits from other beaches on the lake. At Kaugege BMU, before the coming on board of LAVEM2 program, the beach was faced with myriad of challenges, some of which include diminishing fish catches, high cost of vegetables from the market, and low vegetation coverage at the beach. The group plans to plant 5,000 trees on top of Wanga Hills, which measures approximately three acres. This is in addition to planting bamboo trees along the lake to improve fish breeding sites along the lake shore. Nyamarandi SHG utilized support from Lavemp2 to establish a tree nursery 
and dairy goat rearing project. Sasa the first disbursement ambao nilipata ilikuwa 1,255 Kenya shillings. Hiyo ilikuwa kazi yake ni ya kupanda miti. Plan yetu ilikuwa ipande mti kama 30,000 na tulipanda hizo 30,000 zote. Disbursement ilikuwa 5,000 and 551000 ambao ilikuwa ya kuvuga nayo mbuzi mbuzi ya grade yani ya maziwa ambao ilikuwa kama female goats ni 9 alafu males ni 3 total zilikuwa kama 12 sasa tukisapa na mbuzi tulichagua hii kama site yetu nzuri namna hii sasa ndio tukaanza we forward wetu ya kujenga hizi kitufanya hii kama resort B tena tufanye kama headquarter ya wageni wetu Gengo Chandrok SHG used the support received from Lavemp2 to establish an energy saving Jikos project and constructing warehouse for keeping the Jikos The second activity which the group is involved in is tree planting on the hilltop At the time of visit the group had planted trees at Sigomere Primary School Gengo chandrua kutumesaa fanya hii tumepanda miti tukianza kujenga nazo hizi majiko na hii nyumba. Hii nyumba bado tunaendelea na tunaona uzuri yake kwa maana tulikuwa kwa nyumba kidogo sana na tukakaa sasa tumeona kama tuko kwa nyumba kubwa tumehamia nyumba ndogo sasa tuko kwa nyumba kubwa. Ni kazi mzuri kwa maana tunaona kama wananchi wanafurahia watu wanakuja wananunua majiko hapa watu wanakuja wanatufanyia oda wakipati tukuwapatia hizi jiko zetu hata mtungi tunaanza kutengeneza tu hapa mzuri tuwapatia wa mama kwa risafu wanapikia tumeona kama hii kitu mzuri sana tumeshukuru sana watu wa Lavem kwa kutufanyia hizi walitusaidia sana kwa maana ilikuwa tunafanya hii kitu na mkono yetu na ilikuwa inaaribika sana na tangu tupata pesa ya kununua masini yetu siku hizi tunaendelea kwa maana samani ilikuwa tunafanya merry go round tu ndio tupeleke watoto wetu usule na siku hizi tunafanya kazi yetu tunauza tunapata pesa tunapeleka nayo watoto usule hata samani ilikuwa tunapigia tu watoto arambe ndio tumapeleka nayo usule ka kama hata kama alikuwa watoto ile wajani na siku hizi tunapata pesa tunaanza kuita hata mtoto mwingine tunamchangia tunampatia pesa kwa maana kutoka kwa faida ya hizi majiko Nyakonya CBO developed a proposal with four main objectives which include gully erosion control through construction of 20 gabion boxes, establishment of tree nurseries, provision of clean safe drinking water and establishment of fish ponds to ease fishing pressure from the lake. Nyorondo or Orongo Gully Erosion Control SHG through support from Lavemp2 has managed to control the huge gully in the area. This has been done through fencing off the rehabilitated gully site using barbed wire that's keeping away the roaming animals. We began this project in September last year, that's 2013, when we made proposals to LAVEM with objectives. There are three objectives. One, to rehabilitate this eroded landscape running from Nyorondo, Aloma, I mean, Orongo up to Aloma, it's five kilometer stretch of land. We wanted to control that soil erosion so much so that we rehabilitate the land and it becomes useful to farmers in the area so that we can alleviate the food problems and ensure food security. The community also has also benefited from this because they have become very positive in supporting this project here because they believe this is their project. They have seen that it is going to, it is changing, their, it is changing shape and therefore sooner or later they will begin planting. In fact, next rainfall, when it comes, we shall be planting crops here and we shall be having a lot of food in this place here. Rakwaro BMU is a unique project as it is a CBO interested in infrastructure development. It was observed that because of massive erosion from upstream, the road linking the main road and the beach was completely cut off and was not motorable. Due to the foregoing problem, 
the group leader proposal with 3.7 million Kenya shillings to LaVemp 2. In the proposal, the group proposed to reconstruct the road, construct fish ponds, and establishment of fishing archeries. So far, the group has spent about 1.3 million Kenya shillings in maraming the road. Rakwaro Beach is the first beach in Rachuonyo district that was constructed, and this is the beach that was serving a population in the Olo Wangchin location with a population size of over 12,800 people. So this was the main beach in this location, and so the road was a good network to the activities that was taking place in this particular beach. As a community, we felt that now that Levemp has some little funds, what do we do? Then we sat down as a community and we said, because now we have a serious problem in reduction of fish, we are going to start by ensuring that we reduce fishing effort. And the way we are going to do this is to make sure that people continue eating fish, but from another source. So we are going to farm fish. So we sat down and agreed, let us do some proposal to Levemp too, so that we can get some money to do fish ponds. Over the five-year period that Levemp 2 Kenya has used the CDD approach, the capacity of beneficiary communities has been enhanced, enabling them to plan, implement, monitor, and evaluate their own community-driven development sub-projects. Technical support has been provided by experts or officers from respective line ministries in the partner states. This has led to visible changes in community livelihood as shown by increased investments, ownership of sub-projects, focus on accountability and increased knowledge and awareness on management of natural resources within their areas. Since the project inception to date, results of the project are witnessed through the project area in the Nyando Basin. The natural resource subcomponent aims to increase adoption of sustainable land management and increase land productivity in the selected catchments. Activities under this category include afforestation, woodlot establishment, control of water, soil and gully erosion. The livelihood subcomponent aims at improving sustainable utilization of natural resources by supporting communities to implement alternative income generating activities. Activities under this category include beekeeping, horticulture and greenhouse farming, zero grazing practices of livestock and poultry keeping. The continuous supply of tree seedlings from the established commercial tree nurseries ensures enhanced environment conservation through tree planting, at the same time providing communities a steady income from the sales of tree seedlings. Efficient use of water resource and provision of water to communities that have for a long time experienced shortages or had to walk long distances to get water for domestic use and livestock has been enhanced. Ilikuwa na shida upande wa maji maana yake hapa kupata maji ilikuwa ni mbali lazima tuende mtoni. Sasa hawa na kijiji walifurahi sana kupata maji. Kama kutoka hapa kufika Rufu Nzwe kama kilomita karibu 10. Mbali. Imejenga wao mlifuko wanasaidia wana kijiji hapa maji yenyewe ni mazuri. Through LaVemp2 Kenya, these interventions have considerably reduced walking distances to fetch water, contributed to the reduction of waterborne diseases, and reduced riverbank erosion by livestock. Spillover effects have been witnessed by other communities that have adopted and are now undertaking similar projects without funding from LaVemp2. Household income of beneficiary communities has increased through activities undertaken by LaVemp2. So far, a total of 225 groups have benefited from 300,950,021 Kenya shillings disbursement from the project. This figure represents 50.63% of the absorption of the project funds by various groups. The National Project Coordinator 
said that this percentage will rise to about 80% once the rehabilitation of sewerage treatment plants are implemented in the three counties of Kisumu, Homa Bay and Bomet. The budget of the project was 30 million US dollars to be spent in four years, which I've explained four years was not possible. Now it will be a six year project. So, so far, from what I have highlighted, out of the 30 million, which is the total budget of the project, uh, we have managed to assert now, we have managed to absorb 50.63%. But we are supposed to absorb 80% as a target given to us in order to <clears throat> be allowed to move into the next phase of Levent. Uh, the major ones are the sewage works that I've talked about, that uh, procurement is in the, in the pipeline those will absorb quite a bulk of money and it will take us to 80 percent now we are at 50 percent so we are very confident that we are going to achieve uh, that the budgetary allocations for this works are homa bay 210 million kenya shillings expansion of kisat sewer treatment plant 110 million Kenya shillings and 135 million Kenya shillings for the Bomet sewer plant. In addition, Lavem 2 Kenya project has pumped 55 million Kenya shillings towards rehabilitation of six water laboratories in Kisumu. In your, in your own assessment, most especially the CDDs, uh, where the aim major list may be improve livelihoods and also the uh, for conservation. Do you think, in your assessment, do you think the project is meeting its objectives or do you think the lives of these members are changing or do you think the environment is, is sort of improving? Uh, to me, I will say yes. Uh, it is going to be achieved uh, because it is based on uh, on the targets, project targets, and we have uh, measurable indicators to uh, to inform us whether we will meet those objectives or not. But currently, as we speak, uh, the project is is geared towards meeting those goals. Already, you saw by yourselves the impact that the project has already had on the uh, on the communities who are implementing the. Project. Although the aspect to do with the environment is long term, it may take uh, beyond the project to realize the, the benefits. Mamadio, <laughs> <laughs> 